Hi ladies, welcome back. Today is day 30 and today we are talking about father wounds and broken covenants. Now, the quote from the More Revolution book today reads, We are a fatherless generation because people are choosing promiscuity, cohabitation, and divorce rather than covenant relationships. And ladies, I can, I can honestly sit here before you today and tell you that most of the men and the women that I talk to here at Moral Revolution, the bad choices that they make, the wounds and lies that they have experienced, the, the orphan mentality that they walk around with, which causes them to make all kinds of crazy bad decisions, is rooted in the fact that they do not know who they are in Christ. They don't know how much Father God loves them, has called them, has, has, has sacrificed to bring them into the family, and they're making decisions from a place of um, lack of identity, and they're walking around with an orphan spirit. And ladies, I could say many, many things about our generation. I could say many things and give you many statistics that would show you where we are at on the timeline in history. Um, but I don't want to do that. I, I want to tell you that every wound, every lie, every moment of pain, every trauma, every broken relationship, everything in your life that, it ca that has caused you shame or to run and hide or to think I'm not worthy, I'll never be chosen, I'm not beautiful, that all of those, all of that pain can be um, brought to the feet of Jesus because he loves you. He knew everything about you when he chose to die on the cross and he still reached out for you and said, I'm coming for her. She is worth it. I love her and I'm, I'm going to do whatever I can to offer her the invitation to be mine. So ladies, this, this is a really big day. It's a really full day. Um, so many people are walking around with father wounds and um, are coming from a place of brokenness. And I, I just want to speak grace to your hearts today. And I want to speak courage to the quiet places in your spirit that need a hug and that need to be loved on. And I just want to say that the Father is enough for you today and that he, he has enough grace and his arms are wide enough to be able to take all of you in, all of your pain, all of your questions of who are you, what does it look like to be a woman on this earth in this, in this day and age, Dad, what do I do about my past, God, what do I do about my family, some of you have, have come from broken homes and you're questioning like, you're questioning your worth, you're questioning your place on the earth, God has a place for you, he can take any story and make it and make it new and 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 have you end well and so I just ladies I want to just I want to bless you and I want to challenge you to to turn to daddy God today um, he is not far off he loves you so much and he can teach you how to do this thing and he can equip you to walk righteously and upright before him and you can have a new story so I just speak his word of love to you now and um, I'm going to pray for you. Um, Dad, I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for the way that you come and rescue. Thank you for sending Jesus. Thank you for sending Jesus to pay the highest bride price to call us your own and to make us your bride. And that you want to be friends with us. That you want to know us. You want to do life with us. You want to do relationship with us. And so... God, I just ask that today would be a breaking, breaking day, God, for these women. That they will be able to look back on this day and say day 30 was a day that God came and did wondrous things in my life. And um, Lord, I just want to say that these women will be able to share the testimony of this day and they'll be able to share their stories, Lord, with their children and God with other people on the earth and that their stories Lord of redemption and rescue will actually put courage and faith and hope into people to be able to face their own pain or maybe their own father wounds God and so I thank you that you are God and that you're big and wide and deep enough to handle 
every person that has been born on this earth. And we just, we marvel at your beauty. We marvel at your love. And we just thank you that you lavishly loved us through Jesus on the cross. We love you so much. Thank you for drawing us in and being able, and just letting us be able to call you daddy and that you have drawn us close. So we love you today, Father, and we thank you for what you're doing in these women's lives. You are good, and you are good all the time. And I just ask that you would come show yourself good to these women today. In Jesus' name, amen. Bless you, ladies. It's going to be a great day.